We continue to preview the 2024 college football season. Today, our stop is Thomasville, Georgia, as we get to visit with Orlando Mitchens, who is heading into his second season with the program, the second season of the program, a military transition football program. Coach, I know we spoke a little bit about that last year, talking about really what the program was made up of, but tell us a little bit about the results on the field and, and what happened once you finally got to get out there and get some games under your belt as the head coach. One and eight last season. Most of the games, though, were pretty tight. Yeah, it, it really was tight. And I know we, you and I talked last year before the season started, and I was looking forward to it. Um, to the season. When the season started, I really felt good about it. Um, we were in a lot of games. I would say we were in about five to six games last year that I felt that if we done a couple of things differently on offense or defensively and make some plays or things our way, we could have easily won six games last year. Um, you know, in those growing pains, pains for, for myself as a head coach, first-time head coach, growing pains for our, for our assistants, and definitely growing pains for some of our players, that some of our players were straight out of high school, some of our players, you know, were military veterans that hadn't played in about four or five years. So they had to get their legs underneath them again. Um, so our goal going to this year, and we had spring practice, was let's win those cold games this year. And I believe if we can get over the hump and win those close games, uh, we'll have a, a great year. And, and, and the community and our fans will be very proud of the young men. And, you know, on, on, a, on the same note, it was really different coaching young men uh, that were military veterans that hadn't played in a while and having, having to reteach the game. That was interesting. It was a challenge for coaches, and it was definitely a challenge for the players to, to have them do different things that maybe they were able to do four years ago. Now they had to relearn how to do some of those things. So that, that was interesting. And then teaching um, young men straight out of high school what college football is all about, you know, from day to day uh, at work ethics, going to class every day, you know, and then going to practice when you might not really want to go to practice. Uh, and then, you know, how to conduct themselves when we're on the road. Uh, it's a little different than when you're in high school when you're on the road. When we're in the hotel, we have meetings, we have walk and so forth. So it was, it was a different, different year. It was a learning experience. And on top of all that, being a, a program, not only we had to, to, you know, coach the players, we also had to coach the administrators. They never had football on our campus. So they had to learn on the, the do's and the don'ts on running a, a college football program. And I thought our administrators and professors, uh, right down from the, from the president, president all the way down to, to the folks that you know, take care of our buildings, take care of our fields, they brought everybody brought into the program. And I'm really excited about that. Coach, there were two se two seniors on the roster last year, which means you you had a lot of youth, and you know you were talking yes, about yes, uh, that that goes, I think, a long way then toward helping build the culture toward this season. That you know, it so does. many of them are coming back. It, it does, and you know, I'll, I'll say this: you know, we, last year we started off with ninety eight players. Uh, and like you said, we had two seniors, and they were great leaders. But when you have 93 players, your chance of making some mistakes on, on your men, uh, and we did. We made some mistakes on some young men. Had some young men in the program that really didn't like going to class. And one of the biggest things that I talked to them about is I, I really don't care if you play a, a down here but you are going to graduate. And that's important to me, is that you graduate if you play a team. And so we had some young men that that wasn't a, a priority of theirs, to go to class, do the schoolwork. Uh, and I had, you know, you know, I had to ask them to leave. I had to ask them to leave, because not what I believe in, and that's not what I'm about. Uh, and then we had some young men that thought that coming to TU was going to be spring break year round. And it's not spring break year round. Um, so just wanted to hang out and do things that 
uh, not acceptable to me and to this program. So I had to ask them to leave too. So at the end of the day, when after I asked people that didn't fit into what we believe in at TU to, to maybe find another home, we were down to 43. You know, we were down 43. So now we have to re recruit a whole new. So we were young last year. We're going to be young again this year. But I think that this group of young men that we brought in, that we were able to have in spring practice, a little more dedicated, a little more serious about getting their degrees. And, and they really brought into what was preached here. And that's, and that's what makes me excited about this coming year. I appreciate you taking us through that, Coach. That goes a long way in, in I mean, just getting a, a, an inside look at the program. So looking then on the field, and I, I want to talk about a couple of returners, but okay. also give you a chance to, to tell us maybe a little bit more about uh, your offense. Let's start there. Charles Britt saw a lot of time at quarterback for you last year. I know there were a couple of split time. Yeah. And uh, James Amaker had a uh, pretty solid season in his first year as a program in running back. Talk a little bit about those skill positions. Well, you know, and the, uh, Charles, Charles Britt, uh, I, I'm truly excited about Charles Britt. Um, he, when he first arrived to our program, he was totally against the National Guard. Slowly but surely, he started buy into what we were talking about. He joined the National Guard. He, he went to basic training. He just got back from basic training uh, back in uh, late May. He was here for spring practice in June. And the key thing for him was for me to see maturity. And I think by him going to basic training helped, helped him mature. And as you know, as a quarterback, your quarterback has to be your leader. And that was one area that we wanted to see a growth in when it comes to Charles Britt. And I saw that you know, since he's been back uh, for basic training, I've seen growth. I think the, men the mental growth and the physical growth, Charles. And I'm, I'm really looking forward to uh, getting him back here uh, July 31st and, and getting started and, and leading us to a hopefully a great season. And, and James Amaker, another young man uh, has now joined the National Guard I'm excited about him. He had a really, really good, um, you know, season in, in the classroom uh, and also in the weight room. Uh, he did an awesome job in, in spring practice, worked really hard. He's also grown in a lot of ways, too, and I'm excited about him. You know, when he first arrived here, even though he played well for us last year, he had some growing to do, uh, some maturity uh, things that he needs to work on which I really believe between the coaches and, and him, they really got down to it and, and worked on those things. And I've seen him, the growth in him. I, I expect some big things from him this coming year. And then, you know, of course, it, none of that's going to be uh, exciting unless you have an offensive line, you know? Um, yeah. Me, uh, we're going to be young in some, some areas on the offensive line. You know, to me, the glue uh, is going to be Zach Thomas. Zach Thomas is, is he'll be a senior on the offensive line, uh, and he's our, he's our leader. Uh, if if he plays well, we'll play well. And I think the the, the rest of the offensive line they look up to him because he's, he's played games here, and he's also played games at the last place he was at. Uh, so excited about him and some of the young young men that are coming back with you know some experience. Not uh, not a lot, but some. And then we have a couple of freshmen that I think are really, really good that I'm excited about uh, on the offensive line. And, and uh, you know, time will tell. Time will tell. But I think we'll, we'll be a lot better than we were last year on the offensive line. As you know, like I said, when those close games, those close games, you win and lose those close games up front on the offensive line and defensive line. And those are the areas we felt as a staff that we need to get better in. And we did. We feel we've gotten better on both, in both of those sides of the ball. We're visiting now with Coach Orlando Mitchens from Thomas. The Nighthawks getting ready for their second season. And, Coach, you were mentioning that, that you know, there's still a lot of recruiting to do. And so I'll mention one player from that defense, and you can tell me about him and maybe a little bit more on the defensive side of the ball, Adrian Trailer. 
safety for you last year. Pretty yeah. solid. Had secondary and a yeah. uh, couple of forced fumbles, a couple of uh, fumble yeah. recoveries, and some breakups yeah. too. Yes, yes. Agent, agent, uh, AJ, I call AJ. AJ and I, we go way back. Uh, you know, AJ, you know, I coached AJ at the Citadel. When I was at the Citadel, I coached him and he did, when I came, he decided to come here also. He, he went on, uh, joined the National Guard, went to basic training, has come back uh, from basic training, and he's a, he is really serious about playing this game and getting his degree and, uh, and serving, and serving this country. He, uh, he's a special young man. I love him to death, and I expect big things from him. Uh, and you know, and then things on the offense, on the defensive line, we'll have a couple of returners that I feel good about. Um, and and it's, there's about three or four young men. Um, and I told them, I told them the other day that I'm gonna start talking about them until they start making some plays. Uh, <laughs> but they're they're there's some talent. They're talented. They have the ability. It's a matter of us as coaches to get in there. Uh, on the uh, the linebacker core, we'll be young again at linebacker. Uh, we'll have some guys. Nemo, Dennis is a returner who just came back from uh, basic training, uh, and he's special, and he's our lead uh, on defense. Him and AJ are probably our, our two leaders, um, and I, I expect big things from him also. I'm excited about uh, the you know those two young men. And then, uh, like I said, I'm excited about that D line. That lean, D line. If they decide to come to play today, they can be pretty good. Coach, uh, special teams, uh, Braxton Crawford and Wyatt Waddell, split duties for you last year and pretty yes, much uh, taking care of a lot of the special teams business. They're coming back as this year as well. I, 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 you know, by having both of them, I think what will end up happening with, I hope, they kind of challenge each other and, and kind of push each other to reach a certain height. Uh, in, in the kicking game, because as as you know and everybody else knows that's listening, that you're going to win three or four games a year just on your kicking game. And if we can, you know, do the things that are capable of doing the kicking game, the three, you know, three or four games that we can win, that when I look back, we probably lost two games last year because of our kicking game. So we, we have to get better in, that, in those areas, and I believe we will. All right, Coach. Well, the season gets underway really early, as a matter of fact. Yes, it is. Thursday yeah. night, and I'm talking, it's it's a little before, I guess, week zero. I don't know if it's week zero or week minus one at this point. Yeah, I think week, week minus one. That's for, exactly right. Week minus one. Uh, yeah, Thursday we night, August. With, yeah, yeah August. We with Georgia Warhawks. Yeah, we open up with them on August 22nd. You know, and the thing is, you know, everybody on paper is supposed to be a scrimmage. It's, it's, everybody says it's a scrimmage, but to us, it's a game. It is a game to us. Anytime you, you have to suit up and you go between and you go between lines and you're playing somebody different than yourself, it's a game. And regardless if media or administrators say it's a scrimmage, it's a game for us. And so we're excited about opening up that game uh, at night uh, on a Thursday night. You know, here at home and having some fans there and having our players' families there, the, the coaches' wives there. So it should be fun. It be fun. All right. That's game one of an 11-game schedule this year for the Thomas Nighthawks. Coach Orlando Mitchens, it is a privilege, sir, to get to visit with you. I appreciate what you do, not only as a coach, but as a leader of these young men and being a part of helping serve our country as well. So I, I just I can't say enough good things about what I, I see in you and what I appreciate for what you thank do. You. Thank you so much for taking time with us today. Uh, thank you for having me. I know, and I'm sure that uh, our T fans will be our, our first game, and every game after that, we have. A, as a matter of fact, we like to we open up on the 27th, and then that on Friday, uh, we we play our first uh, true game, uh, and that that should be exciting too. Against uh, the, I believe it's the Blue uh, uh, Bluefield yes. University, uh, and that will be the following Friday night also. So we'll have two, uh, night games back to back which would be interesting, and uh, I'm excited about that. And again, thank you for having me uh, anytime, 
I'll come to you on your show anytime you want me there. I'll come and we can talk uh, football. We can talk if you want some baseball. We can do that too, right? You know, in fact, the Yankees are playing right now, and uh, big Yankee fan. I got it, Coach. Thank you, sir. All right, thank you.